How's it going, everybody? Welcome, welcome again. It's Thursday night, Thursday night live painting. I am Kim Hostetter, Crafting with Kim, and I am excited once again to do a co-paint with my good buddy, uh, Facebook buddy. We haven't met in person, but we will one day. And uh, her name is Delina Atkinson. Last week we painted together and we're going to try to make this a uh, regular thing, maybe weekly, bi-weekly, something like that. But tonight we're going to be really painting a cute little cactus scene and um, it'll be, we're both doing a little bit different takes on it. So you get to see how to make it your own. All right. I'll be right back and then we'll get started. <laughs> Okay, I'm back here with Danita. Girlfriend, you want to show your face? <laughs> I know, you got your set, camera all set up. I can't see your face, I see your hand. There she is. Okay. All right, guys. Yeah, we're right. We're live again. We're co-painting. And I'm loving this co-painting. It makes it so much easier uh, to interact with people when you can actually... Uh, talk to somebody and see them live on the screen. And of course, as you're hopping on tonight or even after the fact, if you don't catch us live, I would really appreciate it if you would show some love to myself and Danita Atkins. Danita, tell them a little bit about yourself. Tell them who you are, what, what your page is and all that. Come on. I know you can talk. Oh, I can't hear you. Are you muted? You're not. Oh, you are muted. It's my bad. You're good now. I had you muted. Uh oh. <laughs> My bad. Hey, Go ahead. Anita Atkinson with the Buttercup Creations. There on you are. Facebook and all of that good stuff. And tonight we're painting a cactus again. Cool. So we'd be happy for you to comment, say hello, subscribe, all that good stuff. What is your YouTube and your Facebook art name? A Buttercup Creations. A buttercup creations okay you can find her there and like i said i am crafting with kim so you know the two of us are just having fun doing all these arts and crafts and we appreciate comment like subscriptions all that good stuff and so without further ado we're going to go ahead and get started you can see right there that danita has got a little bit ahead of the game and so have i but i want to share with you guys hold up a second danita i'm just going to take you down below because i want to kind of put them show them what i'm doing okay okay um right now what we're going to do is you can see don't mind all the writing that's my little cheat notes for when i get into the artifacts but see these two paintings these are two different succulent paintings and i like them both so i decided that i'm going to kind of do my own thing i kind of call it frankenstein when you make it your own but yeah so i'm going to be working it with these two and kind of doing a similar version so i'm back here's back with danita now danita uh, tell them what happened last night <laughs> uh, well we didn't have to bring that up now kim okay. but, uh, my husband usually is off on thursdays mm -hmm. so yesterday i got in live and i did uh live last night on youtube and facebook for well actually it didn't go through facebook it went through youtube alone so i was thinking he was off on thursday so i thought it was thursday but anyways here i am again tonight that's all that matters <laughs> okay anyway we basically got our communications crossed but we're back here doing it again so she this is her second version you'll have to show them your first version at the end and so you said you can see it's not we yeah all right so um without further ado i'm going to go ahead and put my uh, camera back on my palette. Oh, by the way, I am going to be uh, probably up and down a little bit as far as standing and sitting. So don't mind me, but just focus your attention on the painting. I've actually got to look at my easel tonight. All right, so as you can see, we're both doing a black background. Um, and what I did is I took the, uh, once again, I'll show you. I took the basic layout from the cactuses on this one, because I like that, but I love the coloring on this one. So like I said, I'm going to kind of combine the two. And I wanted to do a terracotta pot instead of the little white pot. That's very cute, I love it, but you know, I wanted to just do my own thing. So that's why um, I'm mixing up a little bit. So uh, by the way, if you're not familiar with painting or you want to know a bit more about it, this canvas, my size is a 16 by 20. What are you working off of, Danita? Oh, uh 12 by 16. Okay. And now this is a flat board campus. If I do classes, 
you get an upgrade. You actually get a wrap around a uh, wrapped canvas, which should be about the same size. I like working a little bit bigger. It's easier to work bigger, I think. Um, and also, uh, oh, the paints. Okay, so paints we're using are basically these little. Let me see. Where's the camera? Camera, camera. Really? I'm using Deco Art. Deco Art paints, Americana, uh, folk arts are pretty good. You know, if you want to start out with your cheapy paints at Walmart, you can. But uh, like Hobby Lobby. Uh, Michaels, some of the other stores carry the deco art and they're very, they're thicker. You can definitely tell the difference. So I've got a little bit of combination, but they are basically these craft paints that you get. Oop, I can't get myself in the camera. The craft paints that you buy at the store. You don't have to have anything really expensive or really, you know, fine art. This, like I said, this is, what is this, Danita? Fine art. This is, this not is fine art, not fine art. Okay, here I go. So the first thing I want to do with mine is, like I said, Danita's kind of following along and doing her own thing, and we're going to talk and uh, a little and, bit about stuff as we go along. Yeah, we just kind of made up our own painting out of the two. So um, we're we're going ahead and, and we went ahead and done the background first, so we wouldn't be so far behind and take such a long video. Right, and basically you can see too that both of us decided to go ahead and uh, like pre. Well, we had what's called a tracer. It's basically like a printout of the image and then we trace it onto our canvas before we paint. And generally when you do a party with other folks, we do the same thing. We have that already done for them to make it a little bit easier. It just makes it quicker and it's, it allows you to get your proportions right on your canvas. So people is not so intimidated by just having to paint a, a picture straight out. Exactly. They see something and they can start getting an idea like, oh yeah, okay, now I can kind of get an idea. You know, their eyeball goes to it. So let's see, we've got comments. Oh, it is definitely going to be cute. Hi, Jamie. It's good to have you here. I'm loving this thing. I have seen this for a while and been wanting to paint it. And I've just been letting myself get too far with other things. So, um, yeah, this is going to be a really cutie. And um, I'll tell you where. Go ahead, Danita. I was going to ask you if you can share that to my page. What, what's that? Oh, maybe you can't until you're off. Never mind. It's okay. I don't think you can share it anywhere no, to get off right i'm still like technical challenge on some of this stuff so all right basically oh by the way people that don't know like i said i forgot to tell you brushes okay brushes i'm using like i said we're using acrylic paints this is a uh three quarter inch flat brush uh for the bigger areas of course when you're using brushes you want to make sure you use the brush appropriate to the size you're working with. Now, uh, uh, some people like to use what they call a chip brush, which is those little wooden handle disposable brushes for a bigger, and you can definitely use those too. I don't know I, I, if I will use them if it's a really big area, but I just, you know, if I do a paint party, I, this is basically what I give out to the people. So I figured I'll just paint like they paint so that um, we're all kind of painting the same style in the same way. Yep, I agree. I just get these paint brushes from Walmart or from Amazon. Yep. Either. Uh, let me see. Danita, Jamie is asking, what's your page, Danita? I'll try to share it. That's cool. Thank you, honey. The name of my page is a Buttercup Creations, YouTube and on Facebook, A Buttercup Creations. A Creations with an S, right? Yeah, C-R-E-A-T-I-O-N-S. Okay. Th thank you, Jamie. Yeah, that's great, Jamie. Thank you. Like I said, share it around. Show us the love, girlfriend. All right, let's see. You know, it's funny. I always forget to put this on. What'd you say? I'm sorry. Is she sharing that to my page? She is sharing your page, girlfriend. Isn't that sweet? Uh, thank you. I can't, I can't get off here to share it to my page. So I appreciate that. Yeah, well, you can share it afterwards. But yeah, it's yeah. kind of hard to do it when you're... Now, I'm just going to... I'm putting a little bit of a shadow line underneath here to give it some dimension between that lip the pot lip and all I did here was mix a little bit of the the black it's kind of a shading effect just a little bit a teeny bit I didn't have my brown handy and I don't want to go digging for it so I can use the black creating that little black line there so we can get a little lip separation I'll probably go over even stronger with the with the black at the end but I just want to get a little something there with the shading value all right now the colors I'm using is Hauser green medium and Hauser light green for your cactus? Yes. Okay. I have to look and see what my colors are. I don't know the name of them. I just, I grab based on what they look like. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. And then I'm looking at the colors now. All right. So let me see. I'm going to, that's what I'm going to tackle now. My cactus. And I've got um, 
forest green is basically like a dark green da -da 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 -da, forest green and i got a little bit of this like limey green yellow citron green and i'm just going to kind of combine the two together see what happens it's called winging it right exactly right. and i might have to stand up for this part the reason i'm going up and down guys is because i've been having some major back problems i've got an arthritic back and it's been driving me crazy so now what i did here is i actually watered this down a little bit which i basically dipped my brush in my paint and watered it which is gives you a nice effect but i do want a little bit thicker than this so because i need to cover up some of that black but see how that kind of creates a, a really cool like lime like a blended effect i kind of like using the water with the acrylics a lot to tell you the truth yeah, i do too and it lightens them up some it, it does and it, it blends super good i mean super good super good super uh -huh. nice, super good it actually um, i get like a little stroke motion on it and um gives it the effect that i need without having to go over it too many times hold on let me see almost cut and i've just kind of said i'm taking a little bit of that that uh yellow the yellow green the citron and the and the uh the dark green now let me see i'm gonna Go ahead and follow the same kind of thing with this. I want the cactus to be a little bit different color. These two here are similar type cactuses, so they will be similar in color. And like I said, I'll probably be outlining most of this in black after I'm done, so it'll all separate and pop. Since, like I said, these paintings are not super detailed as far as using uh, a lot of blending and shading and values. So, because they are very whimsical and simple easy kind of paintings because that's what we're trying to do is just get those that aren't familiar with painting to paint and you know blending and all that comes a little bit later down the road once you have the some of your you get over your fear of painting so to speak but uh, i dropped my rag guys all right so where am i at now go ahead and feel like i am there oh i'm so sorry okay now um as we're going along, for anybody that's actually joined me on any of my craft or painting nights, I come up with this kind of a cool little thing called artifacts. <laughs> Basically, what that is, is I thought, you know what, for, for conversation's sake and just to give a little bit of information, why don't I share something about the subject matter that we're talking about? Okay, so basically, what are we working on tonight? We're working on cactus. Now, we could talk about desert if we want to, and definitely, I, I used to live in the desert. Anybody ever lived out west or lived out, or actually living out west now? I lived out west for a good portion of my life until I moved to Florida in 2000, and I've been out east ever since. But, yeah, anybody else out there? Let me see. I was able to share a link on your page. This is Jamie. I'll check back on the live video after I'm not driving. Jamie, bad girl, man. You're driving and watching a video. Oh, my gosh. Okay. You know, Jamie says she's when she's not driving. Yeah. So I don't know if she's actually watching us while she's driving. I'm, I'm minding my little stand on my phone if I have something on. You know what? And I honestly, true confession, if I'm on a long road trip and it's just like a straightaway, you know, and I know there's not a lot of traffic, I do too. I glance over and kind of watch a little well, bit. I mean, I just want to hear it, and I can't hold my phone while I hear it, you know? Yeah, yeah. And time go by so much faster, especially when I'm driving to Georgia. Oh, heck yeah. You know what also works, too, is either, uh, you know, your podcast or a uh, book on tapes. Oh, oh my goodness. Do you listen to a book on tape? Girl, that will fly by. I yeah. did that. I used to make a lot of road trips to uh, North Carolina from Florida, mm -hmm. and I put those suckers on, and I'd miss my exit sometimes because I'd be <laughs> I like, oh goodness, I can see where I'm at because I'm, I'm sitting here, you know, think, listen to that darn thing. And yes, the time flies so much faster. Yes, it does. So you be careful out there, Jamie, driving and doing that. Is anybody else on tonight? Uh, so far, uh, no. I can only see, let me see who else I can see here. It's just you and me and her so far. Hopefully, people will start popping on. I did have. A couple of extras that said they were going to come, but you know how they get, they get caught up in stuff. And, you know, the thing about it is, is if you don't hit that notification button, say you're going or are, are interested, you don't know, you know, unless you set your timer on your phone, which I know. Exactly. Most people do. Yeah. So, you know, 
Oh, well, they just don't get to see it, I guess. Or they can go back and watch the replay. Yeah. All right. So a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So, yeah, this is, I love succulents, by the way. Oh, speaking of which, like I said, I pulled up a bunch of uh, interesting uh, facts about Artist succulents. <laughs> yeah, art, artifacts. I can't decide if I want to call it artsy facts or art and facts, like art and facts. Oh, I like art and facts. Art and facts, yeah. 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 I, like, I like both of those names. Yeah, I just kind of like, but I thought that was kind of clever, you know, a little play on words. Anyway, um, so some of the art and facts that I have about succulents, once again, I learn something new every time I do this, and it's kind of cool. I know, I do too, because you, you say it, and I'm like, wow. I know, like la last week we talked about Memorial Day and, and like, you know, where it came from and, and all that, and it was kind of neat. All right, so... Um, and it's hard to like focus and do this when you're trying to paint too but that's what it's all about if you're going to be teaching online you got to be able to multitask exactly okay hold up let me get to a stopping point here with my, my brush and i'll get to some of my facts all right let's see uh i have like actually 10 well i've got nine in general but 10 basic facts that they're talking about for succulents let me just kind of go through a couple of them um first off succulents come in many colors and i know a lot of people are aware of obviously the greens we're doing cactus here many and, colors sizes yep colors and sizes and shapes i mean they're they're all over the gamut and um but some of the colors like people might i mean you've probably seen blue ones i mean we're using a little bit of blue and they have blue agave you know that's like the agave cactus um but let's see there's also purple red orange have you ever seen orange Yes, I have. Not a real one, but um, one of the art artificial ones. Okay. Orange and oh. um, the one of the things I've never seen is black. Ah. Have you ever seen a black succulent? Anybody out there ever seen a black succulent? Leave me a comment if you've ever seen a black succulent before, because I sure haven't. Now, granted, I didn't even Google it. I didn't even take a look at Google. Now, interestingly enough, as I get down the line, um, I did see something really cool, and I'll talk about it when I get there, I guess, instead of instead of jumping the gun right now, in South Africa, uh, in Africa, actually. So succulents, by the way, and I, you might have seen this before, too, succulents can grow on a vertical surface. In other words, you know, they don't have to grow just in a straight pot, like up and down. You could put them in, like, you ever seen those little pallet things, or when they hang them on walls, can actually grow into a vertical, like in a vertical surface area. Or yeah, so those are kind of neat. Um, what else about succulents? Hold on a second. Like I said, I got to put my little paint hat on for a second so I can concentrate. Uh, what else? Oh, take a guess on how many species you think there are in the world. Oh, wow. I have no idea. That's, I mean, there's got to be thousands. Take it, yeah, thousands, but how many thousands? How about 10? Oh, my gosh. Ding, ding, ding. You get the prize, girlfriend. Oh, good. The you get the, the star. You get the Starbucks gift card on that one. Hey, is that really ten thousand? It's ten thousand. Hey, that's good. Yeah, that's quite a bit, huh? I know that. I've been counting every time I see one. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, ten thousand species, and most of them, most of them, are found in North and South America. Believe it or not. Hmm. I mean, they, you know, they like the dry climates uh, and the sunny climates, of course, too. All right. Um, and, you know, uh, most succulents, and that's why I love them so much, because they're easy to uh, grow, is they're drought tolerant. I can't. I cannot grow a succulent for anything. But you know what? I, I will say this is that you're saying that is I've actually killed cactuses before because I've overwatered them. Yeah. But this is a little tidbit on my personal note. I used to be, I had a job for a, you know, about a year or so working at Walmart in the plant department. Well, actually it wasn't through Walmart. I was a separate vendor, but I used to go in there and I managed the, it was called a, a, a plant merchandiser for Walmart garden center. Yeah, maybe. And so, yeah. And so I'd go in there and work with the plants all day long. And, and I learned a bit. I mean, I've always been a plant person, but um, I, le I learned a few things too about plants. Oh, um, that one a little bit darker. Where are we going at it? Yeah, so that was pretty cool. This one over here looks like a big pickle so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
until I get the stuff on it, until I start getting the little little things on it. Get some little highlights going on here. Uh, yeah, so that's sucking it. Now, what do you, and this isn't even on my list, this is just a question. What is do you think is the most pop, most well known of a now we know cactus are succulents, but besides a cactus, what do you think is the most well known um now, succulent? Jade plant. Jades, yeah, actually jades are pretty popular. I didn't think about jade. I was actually thinking oh, about the aloe. The Christmas cactus, yeah, you got those right too. Yeah. What else? I'm thinking of I'm thinking of aloe. That's what I got in my brain. I've got all of them, so. Yeah, I like aloe, and I got aloe in our yard. We, you know, I've used it medicinally. Matter of fact, uh, that's one of the things on there, the facts, but I've actually used it to, um, like, I take, I drink the uh, the aloe juice. Oh, you did? For digestive. Uh-huh, yeah, they have it at Walmart, and the big, big gallon, guys, and uh, I buy a gallon of that, and I usually drink it every morning. It's really good for digestion, and all that good stuff all right so maybe i spent too much on cactus but i got them done all right so now i'm gonna go ahead and work on my big old succulents over here you know what i need to clean up my, my pot a little bit put a little some, another coat on there and kind of clean up my brush strokes what color are you doing your pot like a terracotta color it's actually called um dried clay <laughs> figure that out oh, okay yeah I love this color. I, I lived, like I said, I, for many years, I lived, I went Montana, Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico. Um, did I say Nevada yet? Um, no. All them states. I mean, at California, I lived out in a lot of different in the Southwest area. And what? so um, I, I love all the desert stuff for many, many years. And so now, I mean, but I've always loved the beach too. Like I've, I've been a water bug. I mentioned last week, I've always loved to go in the water and swim, and I was a lifeguard, swim team, all that happy stuff. So, you know, I, I'm a little bit all over the board. I mean, they call a mixed bag of nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, see, I think I'll go ahead and work on my, you know, I'm going to do the bottom part here and get my little table base down. I'm just going to do white and black, make like a gray tone on that one, I think. Then, once I get done, I'm going to add a uh, kind of a fun little stencil to my pot to add a, just a little something on the pot itself. This I'm just like I said I'm just I'm just making a little bit of white and black together to get a gray. To give me like a little a base for your table. Yeah, my little table base there. Yeah, I just use a, a deco art. Yeah. Well, you know, the original painting that we're looking at doesn't even, on the black one, it doesn't even show a pot. So, like I said, I, I created a, a little bit of a pot of my own. Yeah. I got like pot. <laughs> <laughs> I think we started talking about that last week too, didn't we? Because <laughs> we were talking about pots. <laughs> okay. I need to get a little bit more paint on my brush now, Kim. Come on. There we go. Oh! Let me see more facts about. Facts about. Let me see. I got a line. I got a bit of line here. There we go. I'll fill all that in in a minute. Once I get my succulent started working. You see on this uh, on this base here, I'm just going back and forth. To kind of you do like a, a long stroke motion back and forth because it's like I said it would be like a linear table kind of effect. Okay, and that's about all I'm gonna do on that. Maybe I'll throw a little bit of back streak in there. Um, so let me see. Next subject about do you um just change the subject real quick. Do you have any plants at home? Oh golly, yes, absolutely. Ever, like I said, ever since I had that uh that job yeah at Walmart, I started getting into plants and I, I got plants all over the place. Yeah. I got a few inside. I, most of them are outside. I had to change my uh, pothmos plant the other day. It's a really long guy. It's probably about four feet long. It's, a it's, it's called a uh, pothos. It's a, uh, oh, yeah. you know them if you see them, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's yeah. like a, you yeah. know what I'm talking about? The big yeah. leaves. Yeah. So anyway, I've had mine on a, a really cool 
uh, what do you call it, a um, shepherd's hook outside with another plant for about a year, but it's been so dry and hot this summer and it's just getting fried, so I had to move it. I had to take it out of the sun because it's getting too much sun. It was starting to get too yellow. And I'm like, oh gosh, I don't want to kill this thing. It's one of my babies. Uh -oh. I, I love my babies. Oh my gosh, I got, I, I, yeah, I love, I love them. Part when one of them dies. But, but I'm, but I'll tell you what, sometimes I do forget to water them. Like I'll get caught up and stuff. I'm like, oh crap, I haven't watered them. And there's a couple of <laughs> them that died on me because I didn't take care of them. All right, so pot, see how fast this is going? This is going pretty fast. I'll start getting the details here in a minute, but um what am i going to do now i'm going to do my succulents and like i said originally this one had called for two uh pink little guys succulents but i'm going to do a blue one down here and then that darker uh pink what the heck is that color i got a really cool That's it's cool. called alizarian crimson it's a really cool like dark like um berry color i'm going to use on that all right let me go ahead and get this guy painted in Ooh, it's starting to pop. I just have a thing for turquoise, which we know. We talked about that last week, too. You know what? I'm going to switch to my smaller brush just because I have a little more control on that. I like to use angle brushes, too, guys. You can see this one. I think this is a, no, this is a 5 8 little guy here, and it's an angle brush, and I do like to use angle brushes sometimes. They just feel right when I'm working on certain things because you can get a little angle on it. Hello, they call them angle brushes. Exactly. I, I just use whatever is fitting for the project. You know, I need a, a round angle, right. just whatever I need. I just grab it. Right. So I use all the brushes. All right. So let's see what we got here. Oh, that's looking good, Danita. I just looked up and saw yours. Okay. I, like your, I like your colors, that your, your cactus colors. Oh, thanks. That's the um, Hauser Green. All right, for those of you guys that are just joining us or might be joining us a little bit later, uh, once again, my name is Kim Hostetter. Look up a minute. And I'm crafting with Kim. And then I'm co-painting with my friend Danita, who's on the other side there that's not going to show her face. But anyway, I'm crafting with Kim, and she's Danita Atkinson on Buttercup Creations. So you can find us, and please give us some love. And... Um, Show us some uh, some subscribes if you're on YouTube, some shares, notifications, all that good stuff. Nice. And please give us some comments. If anybody ever wants to come on and paint with us, or even if you're not painting, but you just want to get on live and hang out with us and chat a little bit, we would love that. It's, it's very interactive and it's fun to have people on here, as long as you're being nice. If you're going to make comments or be rude or something, we don't want you. <laughs> <laughs> right? Don't forget those thumbs up now. Yeah, actually, thumbs up, likes, all that good stuff. How are we looking here? It's just the two of us right now. All right. I guess I don't know why I'm doing this. I just do want to paint the damn thing, and I know I'm going to be going over it anyway. All right. Do you like the gold in this? Oh, yeah, that's pretty against the black. Ooh, that stands out nice. Good idea, girl. Yeah. Last night on the white one too, and no, I did a green background, and uh -huh. the old blotches on that. Oh, it was so pretty. Yeah, the, like I said, this original one does have the gold on it. I'm not sure if I'm. I might just leave mine black though, because um, I just kind of like had that real stark black kind of look to this. So that's kind of what I yeah kinda, like, felt like doing. All right, so I got the blue one. Let me go ahead and do my other one. And I'll just end up filling it all in anyway. Okay, let's see. I've got my pretty little, like I said, a Lazarian crimson. It's a cool color. Ooh, this is gonna pop really nice. There we go. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. See that color? Uh huh. So let's see, what was another fact here? Okay, we talked about the species. Um, how many species? And you were right on the money, girlfriend. I can't believe you guessed that, 10,000 species. So there's 10,000 species in the world of succulents. Um, also, 
The largest succulent in the world, though, believe it or not, is in Africa, which I guess it kind of makes sense since it's real dry and hot over there for most parts. Um, by the way, not all Africa is hot. I mean, some of it does get winters, believe it or not. Um, we just hear about all the desert areas for the most part. Okay, now the largest one in Africa, though, and this is really cool. You guys, you might even want to Google this. It's this humongo looking tree. Well, actually, they call it a tree. It's called the uh, ba baobab tree, baobab tree in Africa, South, South Africa. It just says Africa. It didn't say for itself. Oh, um. So, yeah. This is, I think this is going to be one of my favorite paintings. I really love this. Kim. What's up, girl? Look, I was going to show you my new brushes. That oh, I what you get? Can you see these? Oh, sparkles, glitter. Where'd you get those? From Jamie Connor. I love those. Who? Yeah. Um, it's she's got a she was um like trying to get me to get in her club, so I got these brushes um so I can show them to others. Let me I see. So you. you got like a little perk for promoting, is that it? Uh not yet. Um, but I can do that. I can get in like an affiliate. But it, you see the zebra? It's rainbow zebra. <gasps> those are so darn cool. I love the, those. The brush of the month club. And I no think way. it's $14 a month. And every month, month she sends you a new brush, all depending on the, the month, whatever it's going to be. And if it's going to be a holiday. Can you see this one? You see what this is for? That's cool. That's flowers. It's Fourth of July colors. Oh, it is. Okay, yeah, I can see. I've got such a. I've got you down. I don't have you up on the full screen. Oh, it's okay. Full I screen, so I can't see too much detail. But yeah, that's cool. Body, body, cool. So cool. And every not just a different brush, a different size, and everything. You see? Okay. Oh, okay. You said it's fourteen dollars a month. Yeah. That is that her membership price or is that? Yeah, I'm like. Every She'll send you a brush of the month if you if you're in her club, gotcha. and you don't know what what it's going to look like. Just right. Make, so it's like um, it's going to be like if it's it's October, it'll be like a Halloween one, you know, colors. Gotcha. It'll kind of relate to the holidays. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Holidays, all right. Exactly. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead. I'm letting all that dry up. I'm going to go ahead and work on my little uh, my little succulents down below. I guess these would kind of be your jades. Yeah, that's what bit. I'm. Too. they're just like my jades i got a whole mm -hmm. plant of like several of them in there a whole pot of plants the jade yeah i've got i should take a picture of it and show it to you you know i was thinking about bringing in a couple of my succulent plants in here and kind of like showing them for people <laughs> who aren't familiar with you know real succulents and whatnot yeah. um but i i didn't think about it till after till just now till just anyway now. <laughs> i have I bought at Lowe's last year. I usually don't splurge like this, but it was so neat. You know how they put all the different plants together and make a big composition out of them? Yeah. It was a big pot with all these different plants oh, all, all sucking it. And they were, it was absolutely gorgeous. I ended up having it all together, but they grew up so fast that I couldn't keep them. I had to take one of them because one of them, um, I don't even know the name of it, honestly. It's like this little spindly looking one. Uh -huh. It started growing and overtaking everything else in the pot. Oh, wait, so... I ended up um, taking it out and make, putting it in a separate pot. And that thing is just, I mean, both of them, they're all real pretty. So I've gotten sitting on an old chair that I found, old rusted chair. And you got it where? It's outside next to no. my door. Where did you door. get it at? Huh? Oh, at Lowe's. They usually have them there in the garden center. They usually have them in the summertime, you know. Yeah, I, 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 I just didn't know if you said Walmart or Lowe's. Or Home yeah, it was Lowe's. Uh-huh. And I think it was about 20 bucks for the whole thing, which wasn't terrible. But I'm, I'm I'm such a cheapskate. Sometimes I'm like, oh, oh, oh my. but I just said, now nah, I'm gonna get this because it looked really good, and yeah. they have done so well. I just really love them. That's good. Yeah. I should have went ahead and painted that damn background now. I have to paint that in. Quick background. I thought you did. Well, I did on my bottom base, but then my gray. If you oh, okay. See, <laughs> got a little in between. Need to kind of mix a little gray together again. So we've got some white and some gray here. I need a little bit more white, Donna. Now, like I said, this was coming together relatively quick. I think it's so cute. 
this is color, uh, very, very easy paint. If anybody out there wants to paint this one and wants to do a class, Zoom or in person, yeah, I'd love to do that. This would be great. This is an easy, fun little class to take. And you can, like I said, you can make it your own. That's right. right. Lighten that up a little bit. So since I didn't think about going over this, which I should have had a little forethought on that, I should have just background painted all this in between here, so I'm having to go through it. But I'll just have to go over it with my green again. Fill it in the end. And I could definitely fill it in with all the green, but I'm going to make a, look, a little bit of separation. And, of course, my colors aren't dry, so it's turning into green. <laughs> That's what I get for Russian. But that's all right too. Some of this to me is sort of like impressionistic painting. Yeah. Because you know, it's just, you know, it's very whimsical and and you're just kind of like giving it I that. Abstract. So I'm like, some of mine is abstract because I just mix colors, blotches here and there, you know? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Make color on the green, on the canvas, on the background, and all that. Right. All right. Now I can go back over these. On jades yeah jades get super big too yeah i got a pot that has eight or ten of them in it and they're just growing up i know so i can see really well and of course the trick with them is not to give them too much water oh no but they do need a little bit you know and i found the best way to, i mean outside you don't really have to mess with them i don't really hardly do anything about ones outside but uh the the inside ones if you keep them inside i found the best way so you don't overwater them is get you a little spray bottle and just spritz some here and there maybe like once a week put a little spritz spray and i, I spray the um the soil like down in the soil but i also spray the the plants themselves you know like the just the top of them because the thing about it is is Succulents don't like a lot of water on their roots, and that's how they'll die. Succulents are already filled with water. That's why. They're Correct. They're and of course, they get their they suck up the water from the air. You know, if you're outside, even in the desert, believe it or not, you do have some um, moisture, especially more at night. And so, therefore, like I said, it's um. Let me that in. Uh, you don't want to overwater because you actually can kill them, and that's why I killed mine before because I wanted to water them too darn much. But yeah. like I said, that's the trick is just get a little squirt bottle and just squirt them here and there. That little black dot there. That little black bug in me. Okay. All right. So that's one. Let me go ahead and get this guy up here. All right. And I'll go ahead and highlight those a little bit after I'm done. What am I need to pop pop I got this guy here too. You know what? Before I do that, I need to work on my black background because I know. I need to get that filled in. Yeah, my grandmother used to, she had like, I don't know, she, her, 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 her whole porch was full of um, plants. Mm -hmm. And so I never was all that good with plants. But then after she passed away, then I started doing my own, you know. Gotcha. And even if they pass away, the plant, then I always go back and, you know, try to refill them again every year. Yeah. Now that's I, one thing I did not do this year. Like I said, it's been so stinking dry. Uh, we have some out by our mailbox that we did a nice little display last year, the plants and binkas and things like that. But um, I don't know. I just, I didn't do it this year. I don't, they just kind of like, they, I got to where I didn't want to manage them. Yeah. <laughs> so the ones that survived were basically the um, Aztec grass. They're, yeah. they're just kind of hard to kill. And so basically um, whatever lived stayed and then Aztec grass grew. So, kept it and just kind of pulled all the weeds out and left it be. Okay. But yeah, I didn't really buy any plants this year. I did, like I said, I bought a lot last year. But I'd have to be watering everything. As it stands, I, you know, I looked out my window and I'm like, oh my gosh, my outside plants. Are I need to be watering these things. They're, they're dying because we're not getting any rain. Yeah. Um, yeah. So them. Get the hose out and start watering them. Um, let's see what were what's the next on our list okay so like I talked about before as far as uh, I mentioned like what was the most popular people thought you said Jade 
of course, I didn't think of jade, but to me, like I said, aloe comes to mind because yeah, I use aloe and a lot of people use aloe for, like I said, for sunburns and skin issues. Um, and, their, and for what? Their hair. Oh yeah. It's in a lot of beauty products. Absolutely. It's great for the skin. And um, what else? Skin, oh, like I said, in digestion, like I said, it's good to drink. We have a lot of fresh aloe, and I've actually, it's sometimes, you ever cut open like an aloe plant? You ever cut yeah. one open? Well, yeah, they're real slimy inside. Yeah, real slimy. Yeah. Do you know that, um, the Hispanic people, they um, cook nopales? Yes. Nopales yep. the cactus, and they I've just. Actually, it's good. Yeah, I've had it before. I yes. of it, and they eat it, they cut it. Uh, fry it right up and I don't yeah, like Robert's mom I mean I've actually taken it the little strips out of the can and eaten them but his mom made it and she cooked it like that and it was really good of course Robert won't eat it I'm not a big <laughs> yeah. so. I, did, I thought it was awesome it, just, it didn't taste good I thought I could make it taste good but no I didn't yeah. didn't like it no yeah no well, and then let's see um now, another one that a lot of people are familiar with is the agave plants. Oh, I've never had that one. Okay. Now, we'll think about agave. What do you know? Can, when you hear the word agave, what do you think of? Drink. Drink? Yeah. Yeah. Tequila. <laughs> yeah. Tequila. They also um, use it for um, like agave nectar. It's like a sweet syrup stuff that you can oh, get maybe i was thinking about the syrup not the um, drink oh, well, i was talking yeah. about the alcoholic drink but yeah well you know agave yes that actually is a um an alcohol there yeah, that's how to make tequila like i said but um it's also used like i said there oh let me see what else about it fibers they take the fibers and they can actually make rope and rugs and clothing out of it oh really i didn't know, I didn't that. know that i mean i know bamboo is real popular with that right now yeah. What I guess agave is too. Wow. So I'm like, well, that's pretty cool. I did not know that. That's a new fact. So you learn something new every day. Yep. All right. Uh, okay. Let me see. Get these some guys in here. Looking pretty good. All right. So I got those. I just love the colors on this thing. Um, okay. So natural. Okay. Also, you know, we talked about aloe being good for the skin. Mm -hmm. Well, Agave is actually good. Who we got here? Oh, okay. Robert's actually piping in. He says it's hard to do with the cactus. I'm just now looking up and seeing my comments. He says he eats it alone. He says different types of dishes with the um no with, Yeah, with the uh, agave. Oh no, it's the is it the agave plant we're talking? That's not the one you eat. No polys. That yes, I did. Oh, he says he loves them. I thought he didn't like them. Oh. Uh, for some reason, I thought he didn't like him. He says he does like him. All right. Uh, well, my bad. My my bad for saying something that that wasn't right, huh? It wasn't right. Get my, get my facts right, Kim. Put your artifacts down right. All right. Get my artifacts down right. I didn't have that on my list, so. <laughs> down. <laughs> okay. So, what is the next thing? Oh, what I was talking about, you know, we talked about um, aloe being good for the skin. And, um, it's also, of course, it's a natural sun. It has natural sun protection because that real thick waxy coating on the outside is what protects the leaves. And that's why it can handle all the sun. Oh, yeah. Which kind of makes sense. I mean, yeah. it's got a, it's, uh, I just say, it's got a thick skin. <laughs> because my Christmas cactus, it does not do well at all outside. No, it, it doesn't lie. It well, mine's actually outside, but mine's underneath my, uh, I have like a little deck. Yeah. I'm with, um, like a covered deck and i've got it out there yeah now, let me see something really cool my i'm sorry to interrupt go ahead it's okay my christmas cactus burns every time i try to put it outside for some sun oh no no you got to keep it under cover yeah it doesn't like really direct sun no well um, it, on my porch and it just burned up because of the heat last year right they also said too maybe that's why they call it christmas cactus because it's <laughs> better for cooler weather uh they also said too that um uh but what was i gonna say that to make them oh kim i look at me i've just grabbed white this is where i can show you my little trick that's what i get for talking and not paying attention to my colors right. just get my little uh handy dandy uh handy white there baby white whatever 
and uh, clean that up. I was trying to go with black. Probably have to wait till that's dry. All right, now let me put my little yellers on here. Get my little yellow guys. Uh, yep. Anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, the Christmas cactuses. Yeah, yeah. They, they don't like a lot of, of heat and they don't like a lot of sun. Uh, and the, the heat they can see they just don't like a lot of sun. Yeah. Well, and I to make them bloom, there's something about like they have to be in total darkness. Um, yeah, I, I, for them to bloom. I, I haven't, I'm having a hard time making mine bloom, by the way. Yeah, that's not true. You, you just have to have them inside the house where they're not getting heat. Uh, mine blooms every year at, at November. Oh, um, I see. So it, it, they don't, it's getting too much heat. That's why it doesn't want to bloom. Yeah, because you, you have to have them inside usually. Mine always blooms inside, not outside. Okay, well, now check this out. As you're saying that, I got some interesting, something interesting to tell you. What well, about? <laughs> Come on, let me hear it. Okay, do you know what a Kokidama plant is? Like Kokidama? No. Okay, no, I you need to look that up. It's kind of cool. I okay. bought one from a lady last year, and basically it's a Japanese way of creating these, um, this is, I'd rather eat the cactus Oh, he said he'd rather eat the cactus than draw one. Robert just said that. I'd rather eat the cactus than draw one. Oh, than draw one? Okay. Well, I like painting them and eating them. So there when you go. When is he going to get on live with you? What's that? When is he going to get on live with you? I ain't holding my breath on that one, girlfriend. Oh, you're not? Okay, well. <laughs> don't be. I've tried. I, I gave up. <laughs> don't be a scaredy cat, Robert. I don't know when he figures it out. He'll decide he wants to do it. His own yeah. person. But, um, okay, so let me see. What else I'm going to tell you? Oh, my daughter. She, uh, a Kokidama is basically a plant. It's like a ball. It has no, um, it hangs generally, or you can put them in a pot. But they don't have uh, a pot that sits in. It's like a round ball of, um, it's like a round, I'm showing the camera, like a round ball like this. I've got one that's really good in my house. I made a couple that are doing that. Oh. Right. And they wrap it around twine with twine around it. And the plant just basically houses in that and it grows. Anyway, my daughter got on a big kick after I made one and she just made a whole bunch of them and it's, they're doing great. But she has a Christmas cactus in one and she has it hanging upside down. Oh. And believe it or not, that thing is growing like wild and blooming like crazy. And she had it on her back porch. And I'm like, huh, that's really interesting. So there goes the idea of Christmas cactus not blooming. I mean, I don't know what it is because it's out in the sun. Yeah. But it, I mean, it's super pretty, you know, and it looks great in the Kokidama. Like I said, the Kokidamas are really kind of fun. I, I made a few of them, but to me, I guess she figured out a method that was a lot easier than the method that I learned online. So I like, that. one day get another try. I probably should have painted my cactus before I did my little guys at the end here, but hey, well. So we got here. Let's we'll see. We still got three people. I guess it's me, you, and Robert at this point. Jamie did pop on, but she was driving, so I guess can't do that. All right. Um, there we go. What else am I going to throw in here? I need to do my little pricklies. So I think I'm going to kind of follow Heidi's on the doing the lines i like that and then i do a pretty one i did it last night what are these the ones that was on that picture you sent me was it dots what's that darling um uh, no they, she has like the little check marks like the little spikies on the picture you sent me yeah don't you have it it's on the phone that i'm taking you can look at mine see you can look real close uh see it's uh, like well, little, like little yeah. v's yeah. little v's yeah Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do my lines on this one. This is one that, I mean, I might even hang this up in my house. I like this. If I can find wall space, I, girl, I got so much art on the walls. I can have room for anything. What size is that one? This is a 16 by 20. I don't know what size mine was. I, I thought it was a, a 20. What did I say? A 16 by something? But I don't think it's that big. No, it's not that big, obviously. It might be a 12 by 16. I've gotten where I like to paint this size. This big guy. Let's see. 
And what nights do you paint him live on your channel? Generally, I do Thursdays. I try to do something every Thursday, whether it be a painting or a craft or something. And like I said, if you and I want to make this like an every other, I think every other week would be good. You know, that way we're not burning ourselves out. And I know that sometimes you like to have your be around your hubby on his day off. Yeah, well, um, I was thinking about starting to do on um, Saturdays, like every Saturday, make sure I do something because uh -huh. I my channel my youtube channel going really good okay great on it for a couple of years now uh -huh. but i've been serious at it gotcha all right well i'm trying to do like i said tomorrow i was uh, i had tried to put it out there but didn't get any interest at doing that little sunflower um clothes pin wreath i don't know yeah. if you know about that didn't yeah really, i had a lot of people that interested. nobody really signed up so that was going to be friday night but since that's not happening I might go ahead and I'll probably do something on the Friday or Saturday. I'm not sure. What time is yours on Saturday? What are you going to be doing? I, I'm not. Well, since I'm doing this this week, I may not if I can get this. Oh, week. gotcha. Thank you. All right. I was thinking about, um, I'm, why don't you, you could go ahead and do that on a live, that sunflower thing. Um, I could, I guess. I was trying to make class on it. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, let's see. What else? Those are all over YouTube, those um, clothes pin things. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah. I didn't even look on YouTube. I initially found it on um, Pinterest. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's so many tutorials on those on YouTube. That may have been why you didn't get the interest you were wanting. Maybe. Yeah. Do my research. Do my research. But anyway, that's that's all right. I'll just keep <laughs> painting until somebody actually wants to do something. That yeah, you never know. Did you Thing about the mural thing um i don't know but I, oh i'm glad you brought that up i still got some more artifacts to talk about but <laughs> but um yeah this is kind of interesting i i just was you know get my ping ping pings from indeed you know i just kept on there for years of looking at stuff and um indeed came across which in my area you know we don't have a lot of artsy kind of stuff going on here that's like this but oh i thought you said you had lots well, not, I mean, the land is artsy, but this kind of, this kind of thing I'm going to talk about where oh, oh. Um, there's a, uh, a company that's opened up a skating rink, a new skating rink in a town that's close to me. It's about an hour away. Well, 30 minutes away, really. And um, they are, it's called Astro Skate, and they put it out on Indeed where they're looking for a muralist. Ah. to paint the entire skating rink and i'm like Ooh, wouldn't that be fun yeah, that would be a lot of work it would be a lot of work but i'm up for the challenge and i'm out, i've done you know fairly large murals before um i've done staged size murals and you know the thing about it is the images are number one they're like um outer space kind of things you know it's it's cartoonish yeah that'd be fun which is kind of cute i mean it's simple enough you know the characters are simple enough yeah. um except they're black they're a neon black light paints. Oh, because so the not, the lights will make them. Yeah, to keep it like glow, you know, like glow paints. And then that made me start thinking about, oh, you know what? I remember somebody saying about glow parties and glow paints and how they're really popular. So I thought, you know, I started looking online and I watched a couple tutorials on Facebook. I mean, on YouTube last night. I'm like, you know what? This is really pretty simple. I thought it was going to be some big to do, and it's really not. Yeah, it's just um. It's just, um, you basically get your image, you do a base of white, generally, you kind of paint it all white, like an outline, you know, not a base coat white, and then you start painting it in with whatever colors. Now, I even saw one girl on, uh, on the PPHQ who painted it regular, like acrylic colors, and went back over it with the, um, so you can kind of see it in the regular light, uh -huh. and then she went back over it with the neon colors. Oh. And I thought, that's really actually not, that big of a deal and i'm thinking i can do that so i'm going to play around with that soon i'm going to buy some little cheapy neons you know they have them at walmart they have other different brands too that you can buy a little bit better but i'm just going to buy some cheapies to start with and see how it goes and i thought that would be kind of a real cool novel idea yeah that does sound cool mm -hmm. so let me put a guy up here so yeah, I, I, I like the, I, the the glow painting idea, and I thought, well, if I do these, I mean, 
like I said, I got that little market downtown. Uh -huh. I could uh, take those down there with a black light because it's at nighttime. And shine uh -huh. the black light on them and let people see what they look like and say, I do a class on this. <laughs> you know, you want to take a class? So, let's see. Anything to try to get out there, right? Yep. Whatever you like doing. All right. All right. How's that looking from afar? I guess that looks all right. This is... Okay. That's two little dots on that one. And my next one, that's got dots, but I'm going to use the little, little yellow. She's got, I think, a little yellow and white. Mix that down. Put my little guys in there like that. Oh, yours is looking cute. Are you doing a white pot again like you did last night? Yeah, I'm going to do the same one. I'm just waiting for that to dry. Okay. All right. Check. Oh, that's too much. Yeah. Got a little carried away with my check mark there. Uh -huh. no. All right. There we go. I'm going to turn on my um, dryer for a second. You want to not want to mute me. Nah, you are. Right. While she's blow drying, I guess I could chat a few minutes. You still there, Danita? You got you good? Okay. Um, let me get through some of the rest of my art and facts here, or artsy facts. <laughs> okay. Spines or thorns are for protection from the critters, from your animals. Well, that would kind of make sense, but yeah, take them, yeah. might not think about that, that that's actual purpose is for protection. Have you ever gotten... You ever got bit by one of them things? Yes, and they hurt. Oh, goodness gracious, they do. Goodness gracious, they, they, they hurt. Definitely. I'm trying to think if I was a kid, if I had an incident with those. It seems like there is something in my memory, but I can't think I've of it. I've had an incident since I've been an adult, honey. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I try to change plants out from one to another and oh my goodness they hurt but somebody like a cousin or something when i was a kid somebody fell into one like you know and i oh. know it wasn't a movie i know it was real like i, I somebody that i because i had a lot of rambunctious cousins we lived in alabama and we were always in things and i remember somebody got a hold of them maybe it wasn't a cactus maybe it was like a thorn bush or something but they they got hit with that darn oh um, yeah. the thorns mm -hmm. show sure enough but don't come back at all. This music's kind of nice. Yes, it is. Okay. Let's see. My white lines are too big, I think. Let me see. I don't like them so big. See how you can do that? You can just take them down. I don't like them. That's right. Make them a little smaller. Get a little bit of shade in there too at the same time. 
I watched a gal earlier tonight. I got involved with a PPHQ group that is doing like this event for the next few days to raise a little money for Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? No, I didn't. And they were doing it's like a compilation of these different ladies that are painting, and like every night for the next. And you can get on too. I if I can send you the link for it. But they're uh, they're doing painting, and you can watch them for free. But they did something, about, but I actually got on there to see if I could um paint. Yeah, if I could join, I didn't want to paint. I was going to do something different because everybody paints. I mean, not that I mind that, but it's like sometimes people might like see some of those different yeah, sides painting. Different. Just see something a little different sides painting. So anyway, I'm waiting to see if, you know, I think she said they're all full for this one, but if they do something else, then they'll might bring me around. So let's see, what else have I got here to do? Oh, I need to do a highlight on my cactus. Yes, my little JJ over here. Come on, let's see. We've got just a little catch coming here. So I'm just going back over these greens and <clears throat> kind of give them a little bit of a highlight color. Yeah, I'm doing the same. Then I'll start working on my, uh, 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 not agaves, what the heck are these? I'm trying to think what the name of these, yeah. are, the big bloomy things are called something. Oh, uh, cactus? I don't know. They're, they're actually in that agave family. Oh, they are? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Huh. The big bloom plot, the big bloom guys. Well, that one got a little bit light on it, didn't I? All right. So let's see, what else have I got on my little list here of facts about succulents? They are, oh, yeah, some of them can survive freezing temperatures. And of course, we know they can survive drought. But yeah, I was familiar with the fact that they could actually survive a freezing temperature. Now, last winter in Florida, we actually got down to freezing. We do a little bit. But I covered mine up. You know, I just threw a little sheet over the top of them. And um, they made it, you know. But I had Robert bring them in a little bit, too, you know, because I wasn't sure. Yeah, um, this past week we got, um, we froze. To the, we was under freezing, below freezing. Yeah, exactly. And I'm in Texas, and that never happens. I know. Yeah, you guys got that, like, cold spell, like that, yeah. like snow. <laughs> 12 inches of snow or something like that here. Yeah. And that just never happens. I know. It's crazy. And where are we looking at? Let's see. We're at an hour right now, which I think we'd be able to wrap this up in 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. And a few minutes here. I got a little bit more detail to do on my, my agave. This is, like I said, a pretty pretty quick paint. All right, so not that, not that. Where's your friend that was on here the other night, Jamie? Um, I think oh, she just stopped on girl. for a minute. Huh? The girl that was on here the other night with us? Yeah, um, I, I actually, she just somebody that started watching. I, I threw her out here. She's one of my Facebook friends. I don't really know her personally, honestly. Oh, but I mean, she's not here tonight? Oh, I think... She was just on for in the beginning. I don't oh, think she's still there. Jamie, I don't think you're there. Are you? She said something about driving. Yeah. So I think she had to go somewhere. So I don't believe she's on because I haven't heard any, I haven't seen any comments lately. Okay. So, so far. All right. Let me see. I got to tackle these agaves here. How am I going to do this? I think I'm just going to. Was the same one from the other night or not? Um, she did come on too in the beginning and then left. So she must have something going on at this time of the night. You know that that causes her to have to leave. 
Um, all right, so let me see. Let me go ahead and put my little flower in the center here. I'm just totally winging this too. I'm just not even. I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> yep, too much yellow. Oh well, ain't gonna kill me. Ain't gonna kill it. That's Robert saying, ain't gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> and that what scripture? That that does not kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> like, okay, thank you, Lord. I really, I really need that. Yeah. Yeah, I really need to have more on my plate that's not gonna kill me. It's gonna be <laughs> I don't need to be any stronger now. <laughs> I'm strong enough, damn it. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not so strong. I can be pretty weak emotionally, but I'm pretty tough. We I've all are. a few storms, you know. Yeah, we're all tough at times, and we I all get we Yeah, I think we all are too. We all have our moments when we have to be. Yep. Yes. Sometimes I wonder, I mean, men are strong. Sometimes I think women are stronger in some ways. Oh, of course. Not necessarily emotionally, but like they can take stuff because they're used to like. Exactly. Handling things. <laughs> Why do you say it? All right. Now let's see. This one. I'm going to go ahead and let's see. How do we do this? Okay, I'm going to step back and look at this for a second because sometimes it looks a little funky until you step back and see it. Got any more people in here? No, just the standard people. Us little loners again. That's all the, not for the moment. Well, maybe we'll... Maybe one day we'll look back on this and say, "Wow, well, when we only had us a lot." Yeah, of remember the day? <laughs> yeah, a lot of people say day. that. I hear people say that all the time. I remember when there was nobody on. Tamara said that the other day. She said she remembers. Oh, you're not in Southern Dornmont, are you? No. Uh uh Oh, okay. Is that, what, a, is that a group? Of, that's another group of another yeah. girl. Uh, the Southern Adornment. She took uh -huh. to paint parties, just like and she's oh, one. Okay. Of, but she, she's, she does different stuff. She don't do all the business side. She just does the paint. But the other day she said, I remember, and she's got like more than Heidi, I think, more people. And she said the other day, she said, I remember when it was just me and my mom on here. Aww. That was three years ago. And now she's got tons of people like Heidi. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, like I said, yeah, it's just, they say, keep saying it takes consistency. Yep. Consistency, consistency. Uh, I'm just gonna throw that on there too. I'm doing like a little. And like I, I've not done over, done good over the past few years, staying consistent. That's because we're always going on vacation. We're always every three months we got to go for a week. So it just like seems like, uh, it. I don't want to get in the middle of something and then have to stop. I feel like that would be rude. Mm -hmm. Putting it off, you know, and that's not the right thing to do. I don't think. How do you like it so far? Huh? Can you see how this looks? Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks cute. Yes. Looks awesome. I love the white. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to outline mine all in white in a second here. I'm just getting through my little details here. I love these little hearts that I put on last night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're cute. Um, so some reason, I don't know, the terracotta was just kind of with this with this black color combination just kind of calling me. So that's oh, why. Yeah. I about that. My, terracotta pot. My favorite colors to do is black and white. I don't know why. Yeah. Let's see. I think I'm gonna go ahead and outline this too. 
I need better. I need more outline. I need a smaller brush for that. Most of my little liner brushes, they all get separated, you know? Because you Yeah, until you know if you put them in boiling water for a minute, it'll help them. Really? Boiling water. But just boil some water and then uh just when it's boiling really big, put the tip down in there and just like swish it around for a couple minutes to so bring it up and squish the ends, you know, flat and then it'll let it dry like that. Oh. Okay. That's cool. Yep. Didn't move out. All right. I'm out before I did my bees. Just we're thinking a little bit. We'll come in and play. we got to chat about their girlfriend oh i get in my zone and i just forget about chatting <laughs> no that's the way I, it obviously when i'm by myself i just it's, there's a lot of people the, they appreciate that because they don't like all the chitter chatter they just want to see what you're doing and then there's some people says uh you wasn't talking last night so you just never know okay have my little uh flower pot here oh that's sweet that looks really cute that's super cute Thank you. So what does it feel like painting it two nights in a row? No, it don't bother me. <laughs> I didn't, I was thinking, oh my gosh, really? <laughs> I can't believe I did that. And then I just got over it and come on. Mm -hmm. Could not believe I made that mistake. And I, I thought you knew what I was doing. I thought. Honey, I was sitting there watching TV with Robert. I wasn't paying attention. I mean, I you should have called me like I called you and said, Hi. No, no, we were both getting on. That's actually what Robert said. Hey, why didn't you call? I'm like, oh, well. <laughs> I just, just thought we were both getting on. I didn't see it till this morning. I was like, what the heck? Because you texted me last night and you said, I, I can't get on right now. It'll be a few minutes. I'm like, okay, well, I'll go ahead and order it. No, the last thing I saw text was that you were saying um, you wanted the link to the. To I, I, I thought you were, you were getting on with me. No, darling. I was just giving you that. See, I thought you were trying to get it together day four. <laughs> Oh, we're just we're communicating, right? We're just working. Come on, get on, girl. You're, you had no idea, huh? Nope. Did do you not. see anything else I need to do to this? Uh, yep. You know, that looks really cute. Let me see. What did I put it? Turn it so it's more like facing oh. me. Okay. It looks sweet. It looks good. I like the gold touches in there too. The gold oh, looks really I, nice. I love the gold on the black. It, it looks shiny in some ways, and then other ways it's mm -hmm. blacked out. Absolutely. It looks really cool. All right. Let me see what I'm doing with this guy. I got to finish up my little, uh, what you call it's here, my succulents. So I'm doing this little different thing. Let me see. She's got a little bit of that red going on. Let's see. It's just kind of like touches the red. I'm putting it's like funny, last, last week with the tiki, you were I was finished before you, and now you're finished. Of course, you've already painted it twice too. So keep doing stuff like in these little gold lines. I'm putting little black dots now. My last succulent 
fact for the night, <laughs> <laughs> which I think is the sweetest. So I'm thinking somebody could actually like <laughs> dub their couples like their what the name they could give themselves as a couple. Uh -huh. See that being for me, me and Robert. Um, Succulents are symbolic of enduring love due to ability to endure difficult situations. Oh, okay. <laughs> they don't give in. Oh, right. Can't give them too much water in different situations. Right. They hold up to drought. That's very symbolic. They hold up to drought. Um, they hold up to, you know, just being put in adverse situations. Exactly. Okay. And they survive. Yeah. So. All right. I am totally winging this. I'm not even really like following anybody's design. Okay. I've been <laughs> so winging doing it myself, see where it comes out. I don't like it. I'll change it later. Because I'm kind of incorporating Heidi's, but then I'm incorporating her with the coloring. Exactly. A little bit, a little bit different, but it might turn out all right. You just got making your own thing. That's what I like to do, anyways. I'm everybody. It's exactly like it's supposed to be. My mind's just too creative, I guess. I just can't do exactly anything else that is. Oh no, I, I, I mean, I can follow exact. You know, if I need to. I mean, as close as I can get it. I'm not saying I can get it to perfection, but you know, I just. Uh, but I, I throw in my little take on it too, you know, where I do yeah. it. I mean, I could if I wanted to. I just don't, I just, my mind just don't let me go there. It just doesn't never let me do the exact same thing. I always have to add this and add that. And right. Well, that's where you get your creative license. You know? you just use that creative license to do it. They won't. But sometimes when I do that, some things like today when I was working on that other one, like the flower, I'm like, come on, I can do a better flower than that. Come on, Kim. You can do better. Yeah. <laughs> so, I think I like almost like to have that, even though it's all in white. Kept it in white. Do I want to outline it in black? I don't know. I do need to put a little bit of this in there, though. Let's see, get some blue in the center. No more comments, no more viewers. Okay, we're down to the wire and it's just hanging out. Yeah. Hanging out. So this has a lot of Asian type influences in this music. Yeah. So. Mm. Now, you can ask, I'm going to ask you, if anybody wants to make a comment, of course, I guess you and me and Robert Pollen ones on here, but should I outline these two succulents in black or leave them white? Let me see. From your perspective. Which two? My blue and my red. Should I outline? Well, black won't show up here because it's there, but still. Yeah, because when I outline mine, you can you can hardly tell. So I like it just like it is. I think that they pop leave out. It? Yeah, I think it pops out good. Okay. Now, the original painting, she did not do that. She just left it. Yeah. She yeah. left. All right. All right. I will leave it. Touching up my things here. I got to throw some little guys, little squirrelies out to the side, and then I'll be pretty much done. That's what I forgot. Little swirly swirls. Yeah. The swirly girl swirls. That blue succulent looks a little bit funky to me, but I guess I was... I guess I'll leave it as is. It really looks good. 
Yeah, it's just like, I guess, like I said, from a distance, it looks all right. But to me, up close, it's kind of bugging me. <laughs> so, like I said, we'll look at the date and figure out the next Thursday that we paint. I think I got uh, something already on my schedule next Thursday, maybe Not the week after that. On vacation, so. When is that? Next week, uh, starting Monday. Okay, so that'll be good because I already got something going on so we'll just try to hit it next week okay. i mean week after week after where are you guys going uh san antonio really that's cool i like san antonio god i haven't been there ever is have you been up there lately i've never been there oh okay. it's beautiful i mean years ago now remember i haven't been in texas since <laughs> since you were in the military in the 80s yeah i got out in 84. So I have not been there since then. Long time. Yep. I saw surprises that lady on from Beeville. All right. So do my swirlies and then I gotta put my little stencil on my pot. And let me see, those are blue swirlies, right? Here we got him. Blue against the black looks awesome. Yes, it does. It's very pretty. Go in here and iron my husband's shirt in a minute. No pants, I think. I already iron. The little whitey that you are. <laughs> <laughs> well, he works. To, the one thing I try to do is at least make dinner before I come in here. <laughs> oh, I did that too. Wait, today, have you ever eaten um, like a, let me see, made tacos with um, Doritos instead of uh, taco meat, instead of taco shells? I've never I oh, used Doritos. Yes, like I made a plate of taco um uh, taco salad and I used Doritos instead. We went oh, I make taco salad all the time. Yeah, but I use beans and I use ground turkey actually. Believe it or not, the oh, shell. <laughs> like I use Doritos yep. today. Um, the shell. No, I've never done it that way. Robert likes it pretty traditional when it comes to his tacos, but um, back in the day, believe it or not. When I had my raw food restaurant and I was all vegan, you know, like plant-based food. Yeah. I made the bang up. You would not believe how good it was. It was, um, the meat substance was made from, uh, ground nuts. Oh, really? Basically, if you have a food processor, you do, you add your seasoning, like your chili seasoning and everything, like you add it in the meat. Uh-huh. And then you just, um, put it in a food processor and pops it, pop, 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 pulse a little bit. Wow, friend, it is amazing, and it's got a texture. If you grind it down enough, it's got a, like a meat texture, like a. Oh wow, it's really really good. And so I would use that for my taco meat. Cool, I've never heard of that. And since we didn't do bread, this is actually really healthy and tastes good too. If you like that crisp, it's doing the um. Hold up a second. Let me put this one here. It's doing the uh. What am I trying to say? Oh, like your, uh, uh, bah, 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 bah. mine's in the art mode. Um, romaine leaves. Oh, okay. Making taking your romaine heart leaves. Yeah. And using them for your taco shells. Oh wow. Yep. Oh, I'm not like rolling up your lettuce stuff. And yeah. That. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that yeah, but you just you know they're, they're not little boats. So you can fill them up and it, it's a lot healthier than eating all those carbs and all that, you know, the the wheat and whatever. I mean, if you're doing flour tacos. 
Robert likes to inform me that corn is a little healthier than using the wheat. <laughs> there's a, like I said, there's a spot here, the Mexican uh, re, uh, little deli, not deli, it's a store. But they they have a truck and they cook up, we buy the tortillas there. You got um, me press the other day, I've yet to work with it, I, you know, like making your own. Yeah, I've never done I, that. I need to get in there and do it. I mean, it's not difficult. I guess I'm just being lazy because I can buy them for cheap and they're so good. Yeah. But I, I do need to get my hand in there and try to make a few. Taking my paintbrush. I think that's about it for me. I don't know if I'm going to do much more. Kim, look at my paint, my fan that came with my paintbrush. Oh, that's cute. That's super cute. Like a little gift or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's cool that she added that. Huh. I am going to throw the last little thing on here, and that's just this little stencil. I'm going to put this little. Guy. I worked on a surfboard today. I'm not finished with it yet, but I started my first surfboard. The problem with doing the surfboard is there's so many cool designs, you know, to kind of get references from. I couldn't make it my mind what I wanted to do. <laughs> okay. So, okay, let's hope I don't mess this up because with these stencils, you know, if anybody's watching, you just a little bit goes a long way on stencil. And this is a cosmetic sponge and you do not want to overdo it. There we go. I'm going to try to line that up the best I can. I'm probably going to be a little bit off. And the pouncing on a, on a, what you call it? What you call it? What is this called? This is called an easel. <laughs> <laughs> I told you when I get in my brain there, I'm like, what the heck? This easel. Uh, the heck is that? It wants to move on you when you're pouncing. Yeah. Oh, the pouncer? Right, when you're pouncing to do a stencil. Uh huh. Oh, that's not even, but it's still cute. Yeah, I go. I should have done me like a little pencil line to follow. But yeah, by, when you're pouncing, it wants to move. <laughs> yeah, the, I mean, you know, the easel is kind of like shifting on me. It's trying to look like it's going to. Push right off of here in a second. Use the painting. Flowers are the same color as my shirt. What's that? My flowers are the same color as my shirt. Oh my gosh, they are. Look at that. That's perfect. <laughs> That's perfect. All right. I'll probably outline those a little bit, but I think for now, time's sake, we'll probably call it good since you're done and I'm done. Little different take on two different pieces of cactus art. We made it our own. They look really cool. Both of them are cute. I think so too. I, think I, I love like it better. <laughs> <laughs> I like the color on mine. It's just, I, I'm probably going to fiddle with the, the, the succulents after I'm done. I'll probably For now, I'm good. Put a little bit of something on it. All right. Well, let's see. So I'm going to look up at you. Look at each other and say goodbye. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. I know some of you are probably just now tuning in. Uh, let's see who we got here. If I got anybody. If anybody has any questions, I know I'm not looking at the camera. I'm looking at my laptop. If anybody's got any questions or comments after we're pretty much wrapped it up for tonight. And once again, if you're just joining us and you don't know what we've been doing, um, obviously you can see we've been painting these really cool succulents. It's called Copaini. At least that's what I'm calling it. And I am Kim with Crafty with Kim. And, and with the buttercup creations there you go and we're a facebook friend she's in texas i'm in florida and we are doing this live and anybody that wants to join in next week i once again i appreciate uh i'm on we're both on youtube and we're both on facebook so i appreciate comments likes sprinkle the love shares subscribe youtube thumbs up all that good stuff put your notifications on and let's spread the word that this is what we're doing we're going to be doing this probably at least twice a month doing this co-painting thing more than welcome to bring people on and have a good time. All right. We love you and we will see you next time. Okay. And um, yeah, co-painting, crafting with Kim. And once again, Danita. At Buttercup Creations. With Buttercup Creations. Bye-bye, folks. Have a good weekend. See you. Now I get off this thing.